Hello, and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Do you like things like GPT-3? Well, you will probably like GPT-J6B then. What is this? A 6 billion parameter autoregressive text generation model trained on the pile. Link there is, of course, down in the description. Now, we've got some slim weights here, the full weights, which you probably won't use. Colab demo, web demo, and a blog post as well. We have a quick look at the blog post gives us a summary there saying they've released the model and it is nearly on par with the 6.7 billion parameter GPT-3 model. Excellent stuff. You can download the weights, it's fast, and uh, it required fewer hours than other large scale models did. Hmm. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the very easiest one, which is the web link there. Write some prompt change a slider there that's on 0.92 that'll do and the temperature as well you know how how weird do you want it all right there we go so let's have a nerdy rodent is the best youtube channel i've ever seen because run model and there you go you, you can't get much simpler than that so uh, yeah, you've got a few classic prompts up there as well. If you click the prompt list, you can select some of those or uh, you wait for this one to respond. May take a few minutes. Hmm. Yes, it will take a few minutes. While that's doing its thing, we'll have a quick look at the Google Colab, which is uh, pretty similar to the way I'm going to be doing it locally, apart from uh, the GPU bit. So it says there, make sure you're using a TPU runtime. So runtime, change runtime type, TPU. As long as it's on that, then you're all right. Click uh, run all and it'll run through all the bits, but you might want to change a couple of little bits beforehand, mainly these two prompts here. So you've got context there, you know, shocking finding, scientists discovered a herd of unicorns, etc. And the other one up here, Luther AI is. And uh, yeah, so if you change those two before you do the run all, you might want to change the top P and the temp as well, entirely up to you. But there you go, there's the Google Colab notebook, which does much the same as this. So here we go. Nerdy Rodent is the best YouTube channel I've ever seen because he does the voices of his pets. Okay, and uh, if you like that, you should check out this awesome thing. So there we have uh, something completely unrelated, but uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. It's uh, it, it creates text for you based on different prompts and uh, it's it's amusing. It's amusing. If you have a look at the little blog, you can see you can do all sorts of various other things as well, like maths. You can you can ask it to you know do one plus one, and sometimes it will even come out with the right answer. Mm, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at running this locally, shall we? If we scroll down a little bit here, we've got architecture and usage. There is an example there, resharding example py, which shows you how to run on a uh, less than eight shards, a single GPU, basically. So there, the uh, resharding example we will be looking at. Right, but first of all, before we look at that uh, resharding example, we need to, need to actually get it installed, don't we? So if you are following along, then you will be using the same operating system as me, Ubuntu 20.04, and uh, you'll need at least 32 gig of RAM and an NVIDIA GPU with at least 24 gig of VRAM. I am also using Anaconda Individual Edition as well to create my Python 3.8. Anaconda virtual environment. I tried Python 3.9 to start with. Unfortunately, there wasn't a version of Ray for Python 3.9. So Python 3.8 seems to be as high as I can go. Conda activate mesh transformer jacks. Let's do that. There we go. So I've got my new environment. I've already git cloned this, of course, and uh, installed ZSTD. It came with 2004, as I recall, and uh, wget there for that nine gigabyte set of 6b weights there we go there we go 6 billion weights 9 gig for inference slim weights here w w getting that not not the full weights you don't you don't need that one <clears throat> and uh, zsdd to untar it so there you go so once you've untarred that that should create a directory called 383500 with all the shards in it i'm not downloading that again uh, and obviously you will want to uh, do all those pip installs i have course have installed everything already so there we've got PyTorch with CUDA 11 because I'm on the 3090 and again Jack's lib with the CUDA 11 as well and uh, after I've done both of those then pip install minus r requirements.txt and uh, even after you've done those requirements you will still need to do another one you'll need to downgrade Jack's 
because that installs Jax 0.2.13, I think it is by default. So you need to drop it down one to 0.2.12. Otherwise, you will get an error when you run it. OK, great. So you've done all those pip installs and you've downgraded Jax to 0.12. One more little thing to do, which it does tell you in the file we'll see in a minute, is just set those two environment variables. Great. OK, so here is the file resharding example.py. This was tested on a 3090. Peak memory usage is approximately 22.4 gig during inference and 19 gig when loading the model. As it mentions there, the following environment variables were used. OK, so you want to scroll down and much like in the Google Colab, you got the uh, print infer and I've changed it there to nerdy rodent is. OK, the, the greatest. Let's put the greatest there, shall we? The greatest because we need some reasons need some reasons right there we go so we've got all that we've just changed the text there in infer that's what we want it to do and we'll do python resharding example and uh, just let that run through there we go i will uh, change time slightly because uh, this, this does take a few minutes to run so uh, i'll see you on the flip side and there we go that has generated so nerdy rodent is the greatest because he knows what he wants and will fight any bunny. He is the number one guy of Spunky Red's nuclears and one of the main characters. Apparently. Apparently. Okay, so there you go. There you go. You've, you've, you've run it on a GPU. No TPUs required. Excellent stuff. Uh, now, there are, of course, a couple more things you can do as well, as you saw in that uh, Colab notebook as well. You can, uh, oopsie. You can also pass in those options there. As you can see, we've got uh, top P temp and also gen length as well. So uh, you can make it a little bit longer or a little bit shorter than 512 if you wanted as well. So uh, let's just have a little run through on those two. Resharding examples. So this time we're doing two. So we've got a garden in Hampshire was the location for the recent discovery of actual living gnomes. And uh, there, a Python example for simple linear regression. OK, let's run those through and uh, do a bit of time modification again and uh, see what comes out the end of those. All right, there we are. And let's see what this has come out with. So here, a garden in Hampshire was the location of the recent discovery of actual living gnomes. Reporting from the scene, the Guardian's diseased David Quinn relays the har harrowing tale of a gnome farmer and his find. Nigel Bowden, 41, lives a couple of miles from the village of Alton, which is, of course, completely fictional. And we've got another example here. So uh, here's the uh, Python code for some simple linear regression. And, and there you go. There you go. And it, <laughs> apparently I get that out. But <clears throat> right. So, yeah. So uh, as much fun as you can possibly have with that uh, is, is down to you and the text that you can throw at it, basically. So... There you go, Mesh Transformer Jax and a 6 billion parameter model there for you to play with. Excellent. All right, so that's it from me for now. Rodent out. Have fun. See you on the next one.